Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to the Bluegrass. We're going to walk a couple of dogs, and uh, I'm going to let you uh, write in the comments what kind of dogs they are and um, you know what it's like to train them or manage them at a boarding kennel. Okay, we will start off with this dog. This dog's name is Tucker, right? Okay, so at any point you can stop the video and uh, write down in the comment section what kind of dog Tucker is and uh, what it's like to train them. Like, what are the considerations? What's uh, my methodology? What's my uh, session and repetition schedule look like? Uh, does this kind of dog look like he would do better in warm weather, weather or cold weather? Okay, now we'll switch. All right, now here's the dog. I think some of you guys might, uh, might know what this is. This is a, I'm gonna give you a little hint. This is a popular mix right now. And it's a, it's a mix of one of my po most popular dogs with uh, a dog that's in one of my most popular videos, right? And this dog's name is Lottie, and Lottie is awesome. The particular mix that makes up this dog, I think out of all the mixes that they're doing right now, uh, it's top notch, okay? I think it's just a really good mi mix in terms of giving you a big, friendly, outgoing dog that alleviates some of the health issues that are associated with each individual breed. Let's see who else I have here. Uh, come on, Oscar. Very nice. Okay, <laughs> so we have Oscar. Okay, watch out, Lottie. We have Oscar. Oscar, uh, if I didn't have uh, labs, you know, like maybe as I get older and I can't, you know, load my big dogs up as easily, uh, you'll see my channel switch over to having a bunch of these. Uh, these have also been in some of my more, more popular videos. Oscar is an awesome dog. I will give you a little hint. Oscar is a dog bred uh, to kind of run out in front of hunters and zigzag and flush birds. Okay, now there are two kind of variations of this dog, and um, this is the variation that can come to my kennel, and there's another variation that we don't watch because they uh, have a lot of trouble, and I'm too old to be having problematic dogs here. Okay, easy. Okay, who else can I walk? Come here for a second. Now you notice, see how this dog just got a little bit, of some leaves rattled over there and went to blow off and she got, or he got excited and he darted off that direction. That's a hallmark of a flushing dog. So if you're gonna get a flushing dog, make sure that you understand uh, their breed specific traits and tendencies, okay? Here's a Labrador Retriever. His name is Caleb. And uh, so I went ahead and gave you that one for free. Caleb's pretty good. But let's talk a second about types of Labrador Retrievers. Because Caleb is a yellow lab. Hey Seymour, what are you doing? Let me come over here and find Seymour. All right, hey, Seymour, come here. Okay, so here we have, come here, that boy. Here we have Seymour. I'll go ahead and walk him up here and turn him around, cameraman, so you can see him. All right, and so Seymour is, he's a yellow lab too, but you can write in the comments section like what they call a yellow lab that looks like this. Okay, also tell me what is it like to train a yellow lab that looks like this? Okay, uh, you know, <laughs> if you if you get just guessing, you can go on my channel. Hey, come here, nerd. You can go on my channel and see hundreds of videos of me training them. So you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to work too hard to figure that out. Now I got I'm gonna have to go get this dog, but I got one more dog over there, maybe two more that would be interesting for this exercise. Uh, let me go. I'll be right back. Calypso, what are you doing? Very nice. Oh, I got two more I can watch, cameraman. That's right. Okay, let me run around here. Okay, now, the cameraman was just on a dog. It's a mixed breed. Uh, and I'll be interested to see what kind of mixed breed you think that is. Watch out, Caleb. Now, this is a very interesting case. Give you a couple of little hints. Uh, this dog comes from an area where they're multi-generational feral dogs, okay? So, um, if you look at this guy, right? This guy's survivability in real life is uh, less than zero, <laughs> okay? Now, if uh, this dog got put in, she, she lives on a big, nice farm right now, but if she got put in a bad situation, right? Uh, she pretty cat-like, she's probably gonna be able to survive. Her name is Calypso, which is a, it's another hint as to what kind of dog that she is. Very nice. Uh, now, uh, as an interesting extra thing to talk about, what do you think kind of problems 
can a well-intentioned person run into when they bring a puppy, even though it's a puppy, right? So you still have all of your socialization windows open. You still have all the, the training that you can do. What kind of problems do you think might arise taking a multi-generational mixed breed dog, right, into a highly social farm environment? Okay, so I'll be anxious to see, you know, what you think about that. And then also, like, this dog, if you'll notice, like, the, just kind of the, her movement kind of reminds you a little bit, almost like a cat. Okay, so think about running a dog kennel where most of the dogs that we see are actually dogs that are bred to do jobs in conjunction with handlers, and we get most of our dogs young. What do you think I have to change in terms of my approach and my expectations to... Uh, you know, make inroads with this dog, considering what her problem is, right? So that's two questions, like what's her problem, right? Okay, and then what considerations do I have to take uh, to help her, like, <laughs> live her best life? Because where she lives is about uh, as awesome as, as a place where anybody could live, but if she keeps doing what she's doing, she's not gonna get to live there very much longer, and that's a big problem, so we gotta help her one way or another, okay? And I have one more dog, Let's see if I can round her up. She's over there running and playing. Sadie, come on. We have one more dog that I wanna walk. And I think a lot of you are gonna have a pretty good understanding of what this dog, oh, what I think it's mixed with. Oh, Leonard, what I think it's mixed with and uh, what it's here for. And also, let's, talk about for this dog uh, what's its problem number one how did it get here and then number two like what modifications do i have to make to my normal daily activities uh, to help this dog maximize its potential now this dog lives in a suboptimal environment like calypso wherever she went perfect environment it was on a giant farm there's lots of people coming and going everybody's nice to her you know so like theoretically like she couldn't really find a better place to live this dog lives in a big city in virginia as suboptimal for this type of dog okay so so let's think about those questions right what kind of dog is it do you think and then uh, why is it here that's super important and then how are we going to modify our training routine uh, to help the dog realize its full potential but more importantly what kind of advice are we going to give this dog's owner to ensure that the dog continues to make progress when it goes home even though its home environment is not not really the perfect environment for this kind of dog and you know like we all find ourselves in those situations right i mean we all like none of us really just get to live the perfect fairy fairy tale life we think we deserve right so we have to make do you know we have to make the best of our situations and uh, so calypso and sadie you see calypso back there notice how she's like always like perched up and watching she's really skeptical why is that what do you think genetically makes that dog so skeptical, okay? And then what, do you, what is it you think genetically that makes this dog hard to manage like uh, in a city or in the suburbs, okay? All right, well, that's a lot of stuff to work on for the weekend. I just thought you might want to do some interactive stuff. I'll check back Monday, and uh, we'll see what y'all came up with.